Yes. So right now we have the artist live and direct on www.wayupradio.com incorporated with britishlinks.com b-r-i-t-i-s-h links spelled with a z at the end you see me so british links incorporated with wayupradio.com right now we have an online destiny sparta yeah my damn man you're good yeah man my day are good i'm gonna play a song cause you know, say it a go hot on YouTube right now. Crazy thousands and thousands of hits on YouTube. Yeah, man. Yeah. So, really, what the people ever know? Who is Destiny? Where she was born and raised? Well, Destiny is from Montego Bay, Carl Gardens, Montego Bay. You know, um, got my start in the music industry at a early age you know but i didn't really make a breakthrough until i entered magnum kings and queens of dance hall in okay. 2010 okay. and from there on i've been signed to guzo music which is Tommy Lee sparta's label and mm. i've been doing my thing from there okay so at what age you start doing music as on a professional level um well from i was going to high school i always knew that's what i wanted to do I was on the school choir, always writing songs then. Uh, I was walking and singing on a plaza in Montego Bay, <coughs> sorry, while I was going to college. And somebody heard me. It turned out he was a producer and he, brought, he took me to the studio and uh, that's where I really started. Okay. So, mm -hmm. which high school you, you attend as a child growing up? My God. I'm going to go well, that's three high school, you know. I'm going to go Westwood High School, Mount Alvernia High School, and then I went to Montego Bay High School. That's where I graduated from. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> yeah. You got no school, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. From there on, I'm going to go Montego Bay Community College, then Music Business Technology Institute. Okay. So, mm -hmm. who... Who, who, who do you consider your main motivator in the music uh, who help you to be the person who you are today? Um, I have a lot of people. I grew up a lot around a lot of artists, you understand? Yeah. Mm, you have a group called Ebony. Yeah. You know, as a as a little girl, I used to be around them. I used to dress up in in the costume and pretend I was a part of their group. Okay. And sing some of the songs that they did. So I really got my motivation there. And then going on, you have people like Lady Saw, Shabarangs. Okay. Buju Bansa. Oh my, the list is long. Cartel. The list is so long. <laughs> okay. So. Yeah. What would you consider your music in terms of demographic-wise? Who do you really target your music towards? You know, right now I have, I have a growing fan base. You know, when you do your music, you do it for the people, really. In, I think I'm doing it for dancehall fans, but dancehall is, is so wide. You understand? Yeah. So you have people from Europe, in the Caribbean, in the U.S., people all over, even get link from people in Africa sometimes say, oh, I love your music and, you know. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, at the level you are currently, are you satisfied where you are? Are you see a, a whole heap of room for improvement to go way ahead? Oh my, the sky's the limit, man. Can't, can't be comfortable. You say, I'm mad. <laughs> sky's the limit. Okay. So, mm -hmm. working with Tommy Lee, because I know you have a few songs with Tommy Lee. What, uh -huh. is, what is your experience working, how, how is your experience working with Tommy Lee, who is a big uh, dancer, Gaza, I mean, dancer, um, what do you call it, gothic kind of artist? It's a good experience. Um, he motivates me as well. Even like if, when we're in the studio, he, he'll listen while I'm working sometimes and he'll say, oh, no, man, do it the way you are, change this. So sometimes I'll have a song and I send it to him and he will help me with the melody. Okay. You know, I say it's song good enough, but sing it the way you're, you know. Okay. And yeah, it's a good experience. So the song, um, what that you see with Tommy saying, "Rather die on my feet," and then your part come in. Who mm -hmm. who write 
both of you guys part? Who write our part? Some we write our music, you know, and then you have sometimes when you're in the studio, people will throw lines and them thing there. Okay. Yeah. And you have yeah. Okay. So regarding what's your number one music currently? In 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 in, in dance right now, what's your number one song? You consider? <laughs> I'd consider Hello Dirty Bad Man to be the number one right now. Yeah? Give it a yeah. Couple, give it a couple and make them here, no? No stand and try to push me aside, but no matter what I'm not giving. Tears my tears, I'm a fight to fight. Come and know I send me born to win. This me never strong the more than breaking down. But my plan, my feet, and straight in my crown. No put me trust in on nobody, cause the ones when my love most obvious let me down. Yeah. Bad, <laughs> bad. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, let's talk about any tours that you have that may come up in the future. Have any tours? Well, I have a show um, in March. Yeah. What's the name of that? Uh, show? Port, Port St. Lucie. It's um, Andre Andre Birth Night Bash in Port St. Lucie. Yeah. Florida. That's on the 5th of March. So make sure you come out, people. So the year that. It's a gold and white event. Gold and white event in Florida. Yeah. Port, Port Lucie, right? Port St. Lucie. Port St. Lucie. March 5th. Loud. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So let's talk about what was the last event that you performed. Tell us about it and the and the biggest feedback you get. The last event I performed was uh, uh, in Jamaica, uh, Bill and Grill Mondays. It was crazy, 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 crazy. People are pulling me off a stage on pure excitement. Yeah, mm-hmm. the feedback is good. Even when I go on tours, yeah. I've been to French Guyana, um, Costa Rica. Yeah. Uh, Suriname, um, Tortola. Feedback is crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like, I like, oh yeah, do your thing still. So, but me know yeah, say, in a music, because music is a corrupted business, you know. In a music, <laughs> in a music, if you if you if you roll it certain man, you can't really reach further than where you have reach and all them things there. So, I mm-hmm. want to know, what is your biggest obstacle as a musician coming up? What what's my challenge is your face? Talk about it. Um yeah, I had I'm going to say had a challenges right now. I'm getting a lot of help, people reaching out to me that are loving the music. So I I wouldn't say I have any obstacle right now. But before it was be a challenge to get your, your songs played yeah. in the dance or even on the radio. That was one of my biggest challenge. Okay. But right now, I wouldn't say that's a challenge. I'm getting a lot of help and Okay. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Hello? Hello? Yeah, yeah. You was just breaking up a while ago. But let me just add, let me just tell the people the call you number. The call you number is nine one four four one zero zero four nine zero. Any questions that you got for Destiny, please call and and can ask her anything you wanna ask her about. See me? Nine one four four one zero zero four nine zero. So, Destiny, mm-hmm. which record label you signed? Are you signed right now? Or are you just doing solo? You signed to oh, you signed to Tamale, right? Yes. Okay. So, name some of the other producers that you work with. Okay. Hello. Right now, you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. That was. That is records. Yeah. That's my brother. We work together. We do a lot of work together. Okay. Um, I've also worked with Andrew Blocks, UIM Records. Yeah. Um, Show the Vibes Music, Big Up Child and though. Okay. Yeah. So, as an artist, who do you idolize in, um, in music? Uh, Lady Star, Vibes Cartel. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, we get a call. We get a call. Hold on. Hello. Call. 
Hello, Carla. Yes, hearing you. Destiny. Yeah. Is a Carla on the line? Hello. Hi, Destiny. Hey, sweetheart. How are you? I'm fine. Um, calling from Canada, but come, I'm from Montego Bay, so I used to see you a lot, and I like seeing you at shows and stuff. Yeah. Um, my question to you is, you know how we always have, every day we hear about the drama amongst the ladies in the, in the, in the music industry and stuff. I'm wondering, like, what is your experience being a female in the industry? Because we always hear say it's hard and drama and the side games and stuff like, what has been your experience? <clears throat> My experience really, um, me not really getting out of oh, something there, you know, in other drama there, you know, cause me really, not really, me really hang out with people who are very supportive. So I'm not find myself in other mix there, really, to be honest. That's good. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, um, do you find, do you get support from other, like, female dance or artists, though? Yeah, man, definitely. Um, Lady Saw, for one, she's the first person who actually called me on a stage. So the first time I performed was in Ochi at Little Pub, and she actually okay. called me up, and she keep in touch the same way. She, she's supportive, very supportive. Even the other day, she linked me, and she said, that song, what you do? The Hello, Dirty Bad Man song. Bad. Keep it up, you know? Mm-hmm. She yeah. even reached out well, to me once. Good. And, you know, sent me to a studio in Kingston, so I must get the link with those people, and she talked to them and met that link for me. So I do get support. Okay. I heard you, earlier you were talking about tours and upcoming events and stuff. Um, where have you, where else have you been? Like, where have you traveled to, and where would you love to go to perform? I've been to Costa Rica, Suriname. I'm sorry, Tortola, French Guyana, so far. And uh, I would love to go to Europe. Europe. I'm okay. looking forward. Anywhere to. specific or just as long as it's Europe? As long as it's Europe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's our question. How do people book you? How do, like, if I wanted to book you for an event and stuff, like, how we go about doing that? Contact, um, just send an email to destiny.bookings at gmail.com. Okay, do you do your own bookings or it's done through the family um, label? It's destiny.bookings. You get that? Yeah, but she, yeah, what yeah, she's saying, what she saying, saying is that, like, you know, like how some artists, they have a money, they have a label where they have to go through the label first to get bookings. Yeah, man, when you get, when you, when you contact that email, you speak to the representative. Okay. Oh, okay. So yeah. Okay. Hmm. All right, well, big up yourself. Love the song and the other songs that you have done. And yeah. just keep pushing and as you said, see out of the drama and just with the people as we support you. Yeah, man. Thank you very much. Big up All yourself. Right, Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so there you have it. The calling number is 914-410-0490. Once again, you have Destiny from Sparta, Gaza. I mean, Guzu Music. You see me? And we are ready that come right now. So feel free to call in and ask Destiny any question you want to ask because she's only here for a few minutes. You see me? So Destiny, talk about any, the new song. Any new song? I mean, you must have a bunch of new songs come up. You don't have to sing oh, one thing, but <clears throat> name me some of them, at least two, three of them. Ah, a surprise. Me have fun, you know, me have a whole <laughs> list of bumpy drop. <laughs> listen, listen, but me know you have a whole list of drop, but I mean, <clears throat> we as we are radio on BritishLinks.com, we want to know, we like to get ahead of everybody first, you know? <laughs> mm-hmm. So tell me what, tell me, tell me, I give you a hint. All right, guess what now? Now you give one little piece of one of them, yeah? Oh, yeah, one little piece. <laughs> <laughs> one of them, I say. 
Shuffle the deck, me a the queen of the pack, and no girl can beat me, me no name Gully Bop. What? Shuffle the deck, me a the queen of the pack, and no girl can beat me, me no name Gully Bop. Boom, ready the boom, ready the boom scan. Hey. I'm ready to mash up the whole place again. Boom, ready the boom, ready the boom scan. I'm ready to mash up the whole place again. No response, see a girl, them girl, they sad like funeral. Can't walk in all the shoes, no matter how them try to chad. Hot in my head, and he can't grab a doll. Take your man, me no care, call me small, they see mal. Watch out. <laughs> oh, they want them bad. <laughs> yeah, what that's what they say. Yeah. You know, I'm going to leave it in head. Come in a gully bump. Let me ask a question now. What if gully bump uh, is What if gully bump is having come and take your hand? Would you clash with him? But I'm not sure. You don't sing gully bump the pants I'm seeing there. Clash with him, man. Hey, no? hey, so, uh, so let me ask you. But you don't know. I'm ready for anything anytime. Yeah. All right. Gullibab. You know, say Gullibab, them get him from them. Him is, him, him was a madman according to the rumors. They must say, say, him did a, you know, crackhead. But we seen up on a stage show previously with Merciless and Ninja Man, and everybody say Gullibab right off Merciless. What do you think? Hello? Hello? Yeah. You, you, I'm saying. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't seen it. Oh. But I heard about it, and you know, it's going about very lyrical, and he's a spontaneous artist. He can just make lyrics on the spot. So, yeah, that's highly possible. <laughs> okay. Well, mm. I mean, I like, you know, dance our people, them like, we had to clash them, so... Maybe young Gullibab can start something. You never know. I'm <laughs> <laughs> prepared for editing at the time, you know. Whoa, mm. no, this one bad. So... <laughs> Me not like destiny. Me like how oh, you yeah, push yourself, you know? You seem like you're a, you're a self, self-motivated self person in terms of music. Definitely. Yeah. I'm mean, like how oh, you're I'm because, a passion that, man. Yeah, because even sometimes when I contact you, you reply back to me and, you know, behave like you're better than people, you see me? Because some artists, <laughs> they don't really spend time talking to them fans. Really? <laughs> yeah, I really talk. I mean, I tell you, especially artists who reach to the level where you are right now, trust me, mm-hmm. them don't, them don't, family, them, them don't, Associate themselves with people unless you're on their level or higher. So mm-hmm. we appreciate you coming here and we appreciate you and talking about the musical journey and talking about the future yeah. plans that you have. You see me? And we, mm-hmm. and we wish you all the mm-hmm. best with the, with, the, with the tours coming up because we know you can do your thing. So we don't have to worry about you a flap on the show because we never hear nobody say you flap. <laughs> you see me? Uh, yeah. yeah. So regarding Gothic kind of music, you have any Gothic song where you consider Gothic? I no, I don't think I have any gothic music. Okay, so are, are you thinking mm-hmm. about doing something similar? I just do destiny. I'm not a gothic artist. Oh, because, because <laughs> just do me. Me hear, me hear the Tamil song. Wait, wait, name Badis, and it, it, it give me a, it give me a kind of gothic feel. Let me listen. Feel the, like... the, the the collaboration with both him, him and myself. Yeah. Yeah, well, I don't mean, consider that gothic, but yeah, I mean, you want to go fight people and go away, be a thing, because I'm feeling bad. Yeah, when we, when we sit on the mic, I mean, listen to that loud, you know, man. It's like a different world, my God, you know. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, what? Uh, so, okay. Destiny, as we say, mm-hmm. anytime something spectacular happens again, you go interview mm-hmm. your cars. We have the link with you. And we give you all the new song. You see me? Yeah, all the new song. Yeah, we'll man, definitely. Them. Yeah. So. Yeah, I'm big up yourself. Yeah, man, big up yourself, Destiny. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm.